coming back to the Mish Connection. I have here James Caldwell. Now, I wanted to get into one of your many hats um, as a cosmetologist and a fashion designer. Okay. Now, <laughs> now um, what, what inspired you to first go to school in cosmetology? And tell me, how did that lead into fashion design also? Actually, it was backwards. Oh, really? It was okay. backwards. Um, 12th grade mm -hmm. at Langley. Um, well, actually, the summer okay. before going into my senior year. I just had to stay. I've always uh, drawn, I would draw clothes and people never knew why. Always looking at uh, magazines. And I just had this whole thing with clothing and, and I was, uh, how I looked. I was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I had to be a certain way and I didn't like tennis shoes and I wanted to be dressed up all the time. Yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> but I never put it all together. So that summer, going into the 12th grade, I ended up just buying a sewing machine and I said I was going to teach myself how to sew. Oh, nice. Well, I had some help from my best friend, Lori Haslip, who she actually, she passed. She's not with us anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but her mom um, took me and she helped me to get started that summer. And I went ahead and I taught myself to sew. I had a little help from her. I had a little help from a woman I grew up with um, named Vivian Younger. She's a wonderful person who yeah. I grew up with who always knew that I was going to do something with my hands because she taught me to crochet and to macrame. I like so crocheting, yeah. always, <laughs> I've always been doing something going that way, and Ms. Vivian used to say it all the time, that boy's going to do something. My mom's like, no, 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 he's going to be a computer programmer. She's like, I hate to hurt your feelings, <laughs> right? but that's not going to happen. <laughs> but at any rate, so that summer, I taught myself to sew. I enrolled in electives of sewing mm -hmm. um, that year for school. And I was kind of a little too far advanced by the time I got back to school that summer. Yeah. It was natural. It had picked up. Right. I ran through the projects really fast. And I was basically in class doing, like, making dresses and stuff for my aunts. Uh -huh. okay. I'm a little <laughs> so, jealous. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it was kind of, it was a natural thing. So it just, it, it just progressed. So by the end of my 12th grade year, I actually made my prom dates gown. So it was a very quick what? progression. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do, you know, up to that point, but I knew when I left Langley that I definitely wanted to go into the fashion business. Mm -hmm. And I went ahead and I messed around for a year because I had to convince mom yeah, yeah. <laughs> that this was going to go on. I was in CCAC, right on Northside, mm -hmm. for business management. I did that for a year and then I just couldn't take it. The creative took over. I went ahead and I enrolled in Clarissa fashion design school, I got accepted. I went for the two years, I got my degree. I found cosmetology within that last six months oh. of getting my associate's degree for fashion design. Mm -hmm. And I literally finished school in March. And in May, I began Pittsburgh Beauty Academy. So I went wow. right from one right to the other. Yeah. Did the nine months, got my license, went right into the salon and started working. Um, I worked for years for Flossies, which is actually over oh, okay. on Penn Avenue. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Danny, I worked for Danny for years, oh, okay. um, who I absolutely love, who yeah. is actually in the book. We'll talk about that later, but <laughs> she's actually in the book and her um, salon is actually mentioned in there. But yeah, that's it just kind of, we went fashion design, pow, over to cosmetology. I didn't end up leaving which is what I think should have happened. Yeah. I should have left Pittsburgh, um, and I probably could have really taken off with the fashion thing, mm -hmm. but I did the hair thing, and it made more sense, and it just kind of, because we don't have a nightlife no. here. You know, oh, we're, we're learning. Yeah, yeah exactly. we're learning. We're getting there. Getting better, yeah. But yeah. I've always loved special occasion clothing. Right. So I love weddings, and I love proms. I did proms yeah. for years. I just stopped doing proms a few years ago. Yeah. But I love special occasion clothes. I don't want to make a short set. I don't want to make a pair of jeans. Right. You know, I always wanted to do something special. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of where I was, but I'm just not in the right town yeah. to really thrive on that. Mm -hmm. I should have been in New York or California. <laughs> I need to be somewhere where there's a red carpet. Yeah, right, right. But, you know, real life takes place and you're where you're supposed to be and there's nothing that you can really do about it. Right, true, true. And I believe that. Once my children Maybe came into my life, it, I knew see? it was true. Right. Yeah, because mm -hmm. if I had left, I would have been here to get my children. So. Right, right, true. 
True. Everything happens for a reason, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what is the line? What, what is your, uh, the name of your fashion line? It is, my nickname is Shaft. So yeah. everybody does just like the movie. Yeah. Don't you dare sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> but I was given that nickname. <laughs> I was given that nickname very, very early on. I have absolutely nothing <laughs> in common with that character. Not at all. Not at all. Um, so that's like a joke, How did that work? you know, but I don't think my mother didn't think it was a joke, but yeah. mom, it's, it's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> but so Shaft was what everybody knew me by. And mm -hmm. I just started designing under the name of Shaft Designs. Yeah. And I did that for a very long time. Um, and then I was going to change it. And for a little bit, I went with Trey 2 Designs because both my children's named Dawn Trey and Trey Vaughn. Yeah. And then I was like, okay. And it was cool, but I got led back to my original. You know, at 41, now I'm ready to do what it is that I want to do. Coming out, again, there was that whole thing about where I live versus where I should be. Right. Then I like one of the kinds. I hate duplicates. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing about weddings. Weddings are yes. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I like being involved in the wedding, but I can't stand the duplication. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. I love one of a kind. Mm -hmm. Something special. Something that's just mine. Yes. And it was always told me, you're not going to be able to make money with that. Wow. You're not going to be able to make money with that. So just, and that's a lot when I talk about my show, this what you can do versus what you can't do. Yes. And I've always lived off of what I can't do. Mm -hmm. Please tell me what I can't do. Right. And I promise Please. you I'm going to do it. <laughs> right. So at 41, mm -hmm. here I am. Now there's the internet. Yes. And I have put it out there, shaftdesigns.com, mm -hmm. and I can do exactly what I want to do. I don't have to wait for you to come and tell me, can you make that for me in green? Mm. If you've seen it on the website in red, no, I can't make it in green because <laughs> somebody's going to buy the red one and they don't want you walking around in a green outfit just like right, their red outfit. Right. <laughs> so finally, I'm doing what I want to do. Yeah. I do jewelry. Um, I do have some signature t-shirts and stuff, some fun stuff. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, the clothing things that I do, there's going to be one of them. No. And that's it. You know, it's something special. That's exactly. me. When you think of shaft designs, just think of something special that's just for you. Yep. The basic custom made clothes. I mean, some people um, would actually really enjoy that when, when I was coming up, including myself. So, being that you are providing something like that, it's time to go get this money. Ready? No. Yeah, <laughs> that's the truth. I mean, I've always hated it. You know, my grandmother, I, I loved, I was. I always been in love with my grandmother, so mm -hmm. I always hung out with my grandmother yeah. when I was growing up. My grandmother, we would go out, we would go downtown, yeah. we would go to get my school clothes or whatever clothes that we were going to go and get. Here we go to Kaufman's, well, it was Macy's now, but yeah. Kaufman's at the time, or Saks Fifth Avenue. You know, this is cute, but there's like five of those over here. Thank you, yes. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it didn't take very long before I knew, I, I don't want to do that. I don't mm -hmm. want, there is nothing worse mm -hmm. than going somewhere thinking you look real sharp. Right. And you look up and somebody that strolled in and they think they look sharp too. <laughs> so, that's <laughs> the where the sewing thing, yeah. thing came in. Whenever, even still, if I think I'm going somewhere and I think I'm going to be sharp, I have not gone anywhere near a mall. Right. Other than Joanne Fabrics. Right. You know, I, I'm not, I just, I refuse. I refuse to be somewhere and see myself walk in the door. Right. And I have no reason to do that anymore, so. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, that that's so good. I mean, I would love to see even more of your new designs. I know you, um, you have new ones coming up, so, you know, maybe hopefully one day here I will be wearing a shaft design myself. Well, I actually brought you a little gift, so we could just skip right to that, so. I like gifts. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. <gasps> Oh my gosh, just in a bag, oh my gosh. Now the first thing, because yep. there's three three different things in there, the first thing in there is actually, that is a t-shirt that I designed that actually goes along with the release of the new book. Oh, So it's nice. um, Between Pews. And that's just a fun little t-shirt that you can kick around, throw it on with some jeans. Oh, nice. And it's my size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what good would it be if it wasn't your right, size? Right. You now, this right here is actually one of my um, signature logo t-shirts. I got to get it together. T -shirts. <laughs> that is the Shaft Designs and logo. And I love orange. <gasps> Yeah, that's the Shaft Designs logo with the, uh, that I've done in glitter. So you'll find some cute things like that. Everything's not going to be so serious right, right, on right. the website. There will be some things that will have a nice price point that will be fun. Nice. And now there 
is uh -oh. jewelry. Those are um, one of a kind. You're not gonna see those again. Those were made oh. especially and given to you. So that's it. There's gonna oh be that one. Oh my gosh. Cause I know you sing too. Yeah. So I said, my girlfriend needs some bling bling. Right, right. <laughs> they need to see you coming. Which I'll be performing at Cruise also coming up. I can't wait for that. Excellent. Yay. But yeah, and the jewelry, I'm real big on yes. with the jewelry. There's one, that's it. it oh. I'm not gonna do a duplicate, just right. one. Thank you so, it. so You're much. Welcome. I love gifts. <laughs> <laughs> you can come back anytime. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but um, we are actually going to be right back with James once again. I can't let him go now. You know, I got all these gifts. <laughs> so come back to the Mish Connection.